Good afternoon and welcome back Skyrim to the Break of Dawn. I should say YouTube, not Skyrim. You're not Skyrim, you know what I mean. But anyway, we're, we're helping Madeira take back her temple and we're in search of a necromancer. So, here we go. Activate the lever. Oh, I imagine that would have uh, stopped the swords had I activated them. All right, fair enough. Um, okay, so as we say, we were going for a dagger approach for now, seeing as we were so effective with the bow. Um, let's go and see if we can sneak up on one or two of these ghosty things. Now where is he? We know there's one around her somewhere. Oh, there he is. See him? Right, I reckon, I reckon we can sneak up on him. Here we go. Yeah. Very nice. Okay, novice. Should be able to do this one. Oh. My god, that's a big lock. Um, Ebony War Axe. Oh, here we go. Stuff of real value is coming now. Um, no, nothing particularly exciting here. Oh no, more corpses. My god, I mean, the necromancer has really sort of spread his stuff around, doesn't he? He's not keeping his room very tidy. You know, you'd think he'd have one sort of ceremony room and then that would be it, but no. Doesn't look like that's how it's happening. Okay, right. Here we go. Right, if I hit the wall, does that bring him over? No. So I can see one. Any more than one, or is it just the one? Looks like, oh no, there's one up there as well. Oh, he's looking it right at me. Right, here we go. Very nice. Desecrated corpse. Um, again, anything in these urns? Nope. I think that's the problem, because I found one potion in one of the urns, I'm going to keep thinking that there are more for me. Ah, oh, hello, you found me. You found me. Right, let's go over to here. Hide again. Right. Double sword time. Okay, look, you can't see me now. Da 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 da. Aha! You've been taken down. Um, awesome. Well, let's just keep keep sneaking around. Go for the sword time. It's burial urns. Okay, right. We're back back to where we need to be here. Aha. Oh. But they apparently stepping in the light is painful. Right, in we go. Kill the wreath catacombs. Ooh. See, look, for some, like a goddess of light or whatever she's proclaiming herself to be. There's a lot of space for the undead to be, to be cultured here. Do you know what I mean? I mean, it's, I don't know, it's all a bit dodgy. All a bit dodgy in my eyes. Um, never mind. We progress. Hmm. Any more for any more? No more ghostly people? I thought there might be one in here. Um, no, it doesn't look like it. I'll take the pedestal. Ah, oh, Ruby. Ruby, 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 Ruby. Uh, down the stairs. Oh, there he is. Right, you know what? I'm gonna, I am gonna get my bow back out for this one. Let's go backwards a little bit so we can summon the bow. I 
think the door is just closed behind us, isn't it? Okay, fair enough. Should we try and take the necromancer out or should we take his friends out? Now let's take him out. Okay, we're doing well so far. Very well so far. Yeah, he is. Okay. I think that was that was surprisingly easy. We're getting very good at archery. <laughs> Malkron. Beehive husk. Okay. Call to arms. Necromancer robes. Cool. He was a... Uh, was he an elf? Difficult to tell. Oh my god. Oh, there's a lot of corpses in here. Which is good for the old gold. I mean, as I say, I'm getting a lot of gold from this little side quest there. There's a lot of desecration going on in these corpses. That's my only comment here. You know, why can't he just use Reverend like the best of people? Like, well, that's what we used to do. Is it to stop anyone else from bringing them back? I don't know, it's, it's all, I mean, they're all Imperial, oh. Actually, that one looked like it could well be Storm Cloaky. Okay, that seems to be about all of them. Oh, no, one or two more, yeah, no, he's Storm Cloak. It's Imperial and Storm Cloak, oh, no. He was just desecrating everybody. Activate pedestal. Retrieve drawn breaker. Oh, what's happening now? Oh no, some sort of loading screen. What is that? Namera is the Daedric Prince of Darkness and Revulsion. It's infrequently sick with disease, spiders, insects, slugs, and other repulsive creatures. Oh, beautiful. That's who I want to be when I grow up. Oh, I'm back up here! Yay! Malcarin is vanquished. Skyrim's dead shall remain at rest. This is as it should be. This Oh, you're very welcome. A new day is dawning, and you shall be its herald. Oh, thank you. Take the mighty Dawnbreaker, and with it purge corruption from the dark corners of the world. Okay, Leave cool. In my name, so she's given me Dawnbreaker. That's awesome. Keep the sword, but find someone else to spread your religion. Let's do that, yeah. The plant cares nothing for the rays that bring it the warmth of the sun. As you carry Dawnbreaker, so will my light touch the world. Okay, fair enough. Whoa. That would be great if it just didn't load and it just let me collapse in. Okay, done. Hey, well that was quite fun, wasn't it? I enjoyed that. That's a nice little side quest. Awesome. Right, well, this sort of gives me a bit of a bit of an issue. If we do Darkness Returns, which of course is the um, the Thieves Guild quest, we'll have to give back the skeleton key. And I quite I think we should have a little play with the skeleton key. Let's not get rid of it so quickly. Um, this one, the Forsworn Conspiracy. Do you remember we saw a murder happen in Marakarth? Um, should we go and, go and have a look at that? Let's go to the Shrine of Talos, yeah. This is fun. I, again, these are some of the quests I, I've never done before, so this is this is good for me. Um, yeah. Alright, let's go to Markov. That is a weird looking sword. Is that even a sword, or is that more of a sort of pokey stick made of bone? Hmm. Debatable, really, isn't it? Looks like it could be a sword, but a good sword to fight with in the sense that if you're if you're actually having a sword fight with somebody, there's little bones in the side would notch and catch with the the enemy's sword, so you'd be able to sort of disarm them quite well. But still, okay, right, Shrine of Talos. That's where we need to go. Excuse me. Do you know oh. anything about this house? Seen anyone enter? 
no, I haven't. Seems no one in this city has. I'm with the Vigil of Stendar. I believe this house might have been used for Daedra worship. What? Right, so. <gasps> oh my god. Do you need me help? I'm actually just about to head on inside. Be good to have someone watch my back. Oh. And keep your eyes open. Daedra are powerful creatures and tricksters. Never know what you'll find. <sighs> Do you remember the last Daedra quest we did? We got really drunk. Oh, I'm going to take a punt. The House of Horrors. Ooh. I'm going to take a punt and say that this might be really cool. Who knows? I've, again, I've never done this before. I've never really been to Markarth that much. Apart from in, like, sort of... When you have to go here for quests and whatnot, but... No, I've never really been here before. Awesome. Fresh food. No wood rot on the furniture. Someone's been here. Recently. But the people I asked say no one enters the room. Oh. Fair enough. Let me just take all the stuff then. Lots of... Did you hear that? Mm, I should probably keep out with them, shouldn't I? That's it. Something's inside the house. Come on. We're getting the fire. Uh, yeah. Oh, come on, just give me time to loot. Come out. You know you're here. There's another door. See if you can get it open. Requires a key. Um. Let me just uh, loot around just for a little bit before we before we run. And hmm. Well, this isn't an ordinary case. We have to get help. Weak. He's weak. What the hell is going on? Crush him. Whoa, the stuff is being picked up and move around. Whoa, what the hell is going on here? You first. Come on, let's go. No king. Crush his bones. Tear at his flesh. I have a feeling he's something bad is about to happen. Whoa, what the hell's going on here? What? No! Don't attack me! What are you doing? Yes, your reward is waiting for you, mortal. Further down. Whoa, what the hell is going on here? Oh no, I killed him! I feel bad about that. The printer's robes of restoration, that's cool. Ring of minor sneaking. Ooh. That is good. Yeah, that's cool. I'm not a stand up. Sorry, I've just completely looted your corpse, but it's how I roll. Oh, the light's gone a bit weird now, so I can't really see what's going on. Oh god, let's go further into the house, shall we? That was really creepy. It was all very poltergeisty, wasn't it? Now we can get in. Yes, further into the bowels. Ugh, this is really creepy. <laughs> um, I'm not entirely sure I want to be down here. Into the bowels. Where on earth is the bowel? Oh, oh, there's a cave. So close, your prize is waiting. Mm, that doesn't sound good. Alright, what is this? Use altar. Take rusty mace. Um, well, the altar looks a little weird, doesn't it? Rusty mace. Let's go from here. Oh! Did you think more like the Oh dear. The Lord of Domination would so easily reward you. I'm not entirely what sure what's going on here. From that little cage, speak. 
Um, nothing, because I'm facing the wrong direction. <laughs> it's an altar, it's a mace, it's rusted. Um, it's a mace, rusted. it's rusted. Dry. There was a time when this mace dripped with the blood of the feeble and the worthless. Oh my god, I don't think this guy is as fun as the drunk but guy. A Daedric Lord has his enemies, and my rival. Boethia had her priest desecrated, left it here to decay until you came. Mm, this sounds intriguing. Um, you want revenge? revenge? No, I want submission. I want the priest who did this to bend. Fair enough. To perform Boethia's insulting rites at my altar, but he's been missing, captured and bound, left to rot. Oh dear. Save that doesn't sound him. good. Let him perform his rite one more time, and when he does, we will be waiting for him. Okay. Well, that's a creepy looking altar. Okay, right, so apparently this is a, a sort of a very evil, warmongering Daedra. Um, we've got a Laura Priest in. Oh, go and save him, and then Laura Priest in, and then we will kill him together. Well, I mean, that doesn't sound too evil, does it? <laughs> Oh dear. Right, so we've got two quests on the run then. We've got the House of Horrors and we've got the Force of One Conspiracy. We didn't really get involved in the Force of One Conspiracy. Let's do the House of Horrors first, shall we? Um, oh, poor guy. Join me next time. Oh, we're allowed out of the house, which is good. Join me next time. We're going to go and find the priest and we'll uh, go and sacrifice him because, you know, that's what we do on an average uh, Thursday afternoon. So until then, I'll see you in a bit. Bye!